What's good, YouTube family? You know what's going out here in these streets. Apparently, Bobby Billion got a lot of people mad at him. Mo3 friends ain't let this man downplay pressure since that hit he did with Mo3 outside. He's out here on several platforms saying that although Mo3 you know became a legend now he's saying that mo3 was a nobody kind of before he died therefore he never was trying to push a record with mo3 and rainwater said they had to put pressure on that boy to give it he admits certain reasons of why he added mo3 and a lot might be controversy before that let's pay these bills right quick gang All right, for sure, let's get this show started. Now, you got Bobby Building speaking on a whole lot of situations pertaining to this outside situation. I'm going to let him speak his piece. Shout out to Sean Cotton of Say Cheese TV. Now, Bobby Building is going to explain how he didn't need Mo3 and he was going to be lit regardless. He pretty much says you, you held his nuts on Mo3 when he was alive. Like, you wouldn't, you wasn't trying to get that to be an official remix. Yo, he, he had, I mean, that's the, I wasn't just, I wanted the, I wanted the song, I wanted it, I wanted a bigger artist on it, and, and at the time, I'ma say this, I'ma be honest, you know, people want to paint that picture like, we, like, we were best friends, or like, I knew three, I, kn I didn't know him, so, you know, at the time, that's just another artist, musically, that's not what I'm, that's not what, what I'm playing, what, what, it's not what I was playing in my car, so, I, I wasn't just, bigger, and it, it helped the record out better that of course that took the record to a whole nother level that uh that took the record you know when he passed all of the blogs were posting that post you know that's on shame room that's on academics you know i ain't never been on none of that so you know him passing definitely took the record to a whole nother level isn't coming to and we we weren't coming to me and ryan i mean ryan per se wasn't coming to an agreement on on what we wanted to do, on how we wanted to run the record. So I think him passing and the song doing what it was doing then is kind of what made them double back and be like, all right, let's see what we can do to make this happen. Man, I like I said, and, and like I told Big D and and, and uh, Dirk is a different. I don't ball think game. Lil Baby. I don't think Lil Baby or Dirk could have did your song just. Now I'm gonna go back to this interview part here, but y'all gotta. As I'm smoking on this Zaza, y'all gotta listen to some of the interviews, controversials with Rainwater and them asking Sean Cotton about it. Let, just pay attention. Shout out to its unique hustle, Boss Talk 101. After he passed away, I took him go get signed, then he ran back over there. Really? Mm -hmm. So, so I didn't know you took him to get signed. Yeah, I got him his deal right now. You were you, and, and when you got him the deal. You did it not knowing that he was gonna go uh -huh. do a song with Tribe Boy Fred. Uh, I got him his deal that I got him, I got him his deal that I looked up. I said, "Damn, you got a song go there?" Yeah, 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 yeah. Oakland beat me. I said, "Okay." See, they go that loyalty shit. You know what I'm saying? He he killed his whole career. He killed his own career. Wow, I didn't know you went with him to get the deal, man. Yeah, I took him. Go, you got a song with Fred? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So <laughs> after you get him signed, uh -huh. he go and. He switched sides on. He switched it up on you. Yeah, and these people and these people love Mo3 at this label. No paperwork, and you show me without no paperwork. <coughs> think about what you gonna do with paperwork. Who is that came on here and said that they? <laughs> man, people, see the nerve of these people, man. He had three thousand followers, so like that, just me keeping building these artists and finding them from nothing. Um, now, basically, Rainwater is saying that he's the one who got Bobby building his deal, and they didn't know Bobby building was going to be working with the ops and doing a whole <coughs> lot of things. Now, Bobby building responded on part one of his Sage's interview, and he said outside was gaining traction before Mo3 died. That's kind of brazy to me. Yeah, platinum. It, sound, it got a ring to it. It got they a do. ring to it. <laughs> but shit show. Man, you, you've been all over the blogs. I mean, for good, for bad, a lot of controversy surrounds your name. Sure. But it's very few people that came out of Dallas and their first single was a hit. Nah, for sure, for sure. Even they... Let's go back. I mean, of course, Post Malone. I think Circle was before and all that. Well, you know, when you, when you listen to my project, that's kind of my thing, you know? 
a lot a lot of them uh a lot of them posts be coming from me sending them your way like i tell people all the time like that's where i got that's where that's where when you when you looking at where to spend your money but that was the start of it and then shit, i hit rain to see about getting uh three to post it on his page three posted it and uh after that i'm gonna say maybe a month or two later they kind of reached out to me it's the, uh, it was his dj reaching out to me and was like Hey man, three really be jamming your shit, bro. And, and three will be posting periodically. I remember, like, I'm gonna say a couple months before he died. Now, when you look at this, it's a whole lot of he say, she say. Now, I'm gonna go to Rainwater on his say, she's interview and what he had to say about the semantics of Bobby Billions. I stayed kind of contact with Bobby off and on. Bobby, I kept, I asked Bobby where you were from. He said, Oh, Cliff. But Bobby told me at his own mouth that, you know, they didn't fuck with him. He didn't know none of them. Trap he didn't know none of fuck with them. Mo3 was the first artist to put him on his pedestal. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, after Mo3 recorded the song, nobody heard it. So I called Bobby and said, look, we're putting together a Mo3 album. You're going to have the song at all? He was going he, he to still gonna be on the song. Mo3 okay. told, told us that he, he didn't want to take him off the song. He was still going to be on the song. Bobby, okay, Bobby said his team said no. This was in September. Two months later, Mo3 called me and said, fuck that song. Two months later, Mo3 passed. Obviously never heard it, so I said, I'm gonna work something out with Empire where it's a Mo3 and Bobby Billion. So he said, okay, cool. So uh, right now we are dealing with the whole, who's over Mo3's uh, estate. So I wake up one morning, Blueface flew Bobby out there. The freestyle. So I called Bobby Beck. I got I got Empire on the phone. I'm like, bro, we gotta get this song. So I made a I made a business decision to make that make sure that song get on that album because uh, you know, I didn't want nobody to to just profit and win. That is the first hip hop artist. African American black artist. Now you heard what Rainwater said here on Say Cheese. Now also on It's Unique Hustle Boss Talk 101, he also said this comment about Bobby. My partner funeral. But what's wrong with that though? He still showed support. You sat there and said that was his biggest favorite artist. He showing support to be though. It ain't like he crossing him on the end or didn't to, to make him get like that though. Yeah, I'm he's showing support. I understand that, but so so like I told him, then if you're not a street artist, you're not a street nigga. You know, so so don't betray it like this, cause you gotta listen to his song. Hello. He talk about his song outside. I'm with him, I'm not mad at him, no ever, because like I said, karma come back around. You know? I can't get mad at him. I understand. I, I get back on fire like you know how to. Man, y'all just, just getting started. I, I'm, I'm waiting. Up for him. Yeah. Uh, done done on house arrest. Yes. Now, shout out to that part as well. And you can see when they got on a live together how they felt. Oh, shit. Wait. Sometimes you got to look past the bullshit and do what's and just do what's do what's good yeah 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 so okay before we get to you know the, the, the his kids his manager um like so you do the you do the song you do the song right You're shout out the real tunes and um you know it's it's out now it's a hit it's it's jumping goddamn me it was rumored a blue face version was gonna come out um it's like, still on the way Okay, okay, cause I, I seen I seen it on on YouTube where they, 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 they took yeah, that shit Yeah, Blueface had, had dropped that. Wait, what 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 hood don't get a bad rap? You know, shit, we do, we in the hood. But now there's a lot of the back and forth. We trying not to get in tune with it, and and we'll finish out with Bobby Buildings say cheese interview. That's this how Mo3 gave it that gospel. No, I that agree with flair. you. I agree with you. I agree with you. But you know, I'm gonna say this is what I'm gonna say more so. At the time, this is what I'm thinking. Okay, this is it. When 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 A-list artists hear it, that's gonna be some shit that hey, I wouldn't mind. Let's say it was Drake. Now I ain't never gotta rap again. Now I'm done. I'm retired. You know, it's it's a chance to make that one song that's just the Mm, nah, I don't, well, it depends on how you been. It depends on who it was. Mo3 when he was alive. Like, you wouldn't, you wasn't trying to get that to be an official remix. 
Yo, he wanted it. I wanted a bigger artist on it. And and at the time, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna be honest. You know, people want to paint that picture like we like we were best friends or like I knew three. I I didn't know him. So, you know, at the time, that's just another artist that's at the time he got bigger in his depth. So that that's what made me say, okay, let's do it. At the time, he got bigger in his depth. So that that's what made me say, okay, let's do it. That's at the time he got bigger in his depth so that that's what made me say okay let's do this that's, at the time he got bigger in his depth so that that's what made i had to keep rewinding that that was brazy look y'all man shout out to say cheese tv unique radio 101 and all the receipts we use man this whole thing is kind of brazy man blessings to the kings queens and gods man support uh, our melanated business and everybody out here, man. Go subscribe to these great YouTubers. I'm your God bless one. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Love your family, love your kids, and definitely stay blessed, man. Blessings to everybody here involved, man. Salute.